A smart way to open our door, hassle-free and worry-free. This is Wheelock Smart Fingerprint Door Lock Cylinder SECBN51, or CCBN EBL51. Technology is updating every now and then making our life work so easy. Like this device, securing our home without worrying where to keep the key, and sometimes we might misplace or not knowingly fall out in our pocket, as well as hassle-free bringing those bulky keys. And now just a touch, everything is easier. Let me unbox first. But before that, you need to scan this QR code or search WeLock app in Google Play and Apple Store and download this app. Later, I will show to you how to register the fingerprint admin, how to register the RFID card, and demonstrating the mechanism of this lock. And this ID code will be used to register in the app. So I received this device from the WeLock company. At first, I am hesitant because I'm used to with usual or the old-fashioned style key lock. Both normal key type and a fingerprint style function has cons and pros. And since we are now in a digital era, if we will not adopt this kind of technology, we will be left behind. And for me, fingerprint lock style is far more better and secured type of lock than the old fashioned style. By the way, if you wanted to get this WeLock Smart Lock SECBN51, visit their website. I put the link in the description below and use that coupon code to get 50 euro discount. Grab this now. Let's enjoy the new smart way to lock your door. You may check also the different type of smart locks they have that fits your needs. First stuff is the user manual with five language translation. Then this mini plastic box with tools and accessories. So this three pieces RFID card, and later I will show to you how to register this. So these are the tools and accessories inside the plastic container. And of course, the Wellock Smart Fingerprint Door Lock Cylinder SECBN51. For me, first impressions, the built quality is excellent and the design is superb. And just by looking at the device, installation can be done by yourself. So in front, you have the wake up button, the fingerprint sensor and a RFID reader and the digital screen. And this QR code will be scanned to bind the device to the Wellock app. So how to install this? Check this out. Forgive me this door, the lock is not yet fully fixed. I will just show where and the Wii lock device to be installed. First you need to remove the screw that connects the lock. Then turn a little bit the lock key so you can remove the cylinder. As you can see the thickness of the door is a bit wider, so you need to adjust the length of the front door knob. By adjusting this, you need to loosen this hole by using the Allen tool.
Wii Lock Smart Lock, with 20mm adjustable handle distances on front and rear, easily fits door thicknesses from 30mm to 70mm. Not only that, including the cylinder extension can extend compatibility up to 100mm, ensuring a perfect fit for any door. Whether you're moving into a new apartment or building a new house, this smart lock is the perfect solution. It's easy to install in any door, all doors pretty much. All you need to do is yank out your old lock cylinder and put this one in its place. No drilling required. Just a reminder, this cylinder extension is needed if only the door lock frame is thicker or the width of the door is wider. Make it sure the hole of the screw is the same position as the hole of the frame. Because if you notice the cylinder of the old lock is a bit wider than this device. Remember, I adjusted the length. So now I need to adjust the desired length between the door and knob holder to avoid gap. Then tighten the screw again by using the Allen tool so that the knob position is fixed. For safety, electrostatic protection up to 30,000 volts. With an IP54 waterproof rating, ready to protect homes but only suitable for doors with roofing, not for garden gate exterior doors. It can always be opened from the inside and up to 10 million closing operations with working temperature negative 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. But don't worry, for security reasons the fingerprint holder knob can be adjusted the length only, but you can't remove it. Since the door is new and I'm still fixing, the knob holder and the frame is not yet connected, so you will notice a gap between the door and the knob of this device. Make it sure those items must be connected first before you install this device. I'm just showing you where and how to install this Wheelock fingerprint door lock. The metal cover must be removed first so you can put the battery. By the way, it is powered by three pieces AAA batteries with recommended 1.5 volts. Just a reminder that this type C port is for emergency usage only, in case you forgot to change the battery if the battery is dead, so you can use power bank instead. Watch till the end, as I show to you how it will work with power bank. When the battery cover is fully close, it will automatically turn on. In the screen it will appear with three language choices, select the language that you need by pressing the wake up button. So you can register three fingers as an admin, but you can register up to 97 as a user fingerprints as the manual says. Any fingers will unlock for first time. To register an admin finger, press and hold the wake up button till screen appears like this. Tap twice your fingers. If you only want to register one fingerprint admin, it's okay. After performing the first fingerprint action, just wait a second. 
till the next performing action is no longer appearing in the screen. Some actions after it is completed, the word success appears. Because there are no OK button or choices. A reminder every time you will add a user fingerprint or RFID card or delete fingerprint and RFID card, the admin finger needed to be tapped first. Selecting the choices of actions you want to do is by pressing the wake up button. Just keep on pressing till you find the desired function. Then after performing just wait a second and it will be back to Wellock logo. So let's try now. First do short press the wake up button before you tap your finger. After setting the admin fingerprint, now it's time to register this RFID card. Do long press the wake up button and then tap your admin finger, and then to select the desired action keep on pressing the wake up button until you see add card. Then wait a second till the message pop up to swipe the card. Do it in fingerprint function area. So let's try now. In case the battery is dead and you forgot to replace it. Don't worry a power bank is the next option. You need a type C cable and connect to power bank in the 5 volts port. If you are using the power bank, make it sure that you plug into 5 volts port. Do not plug into type C to type C port as this won't work. And by the way, using power bank means that the fingerprint function is no longer working. The only way to unlock it is through your phone. That is why downloading the WeLock app is a must, register and bind this device to the app. You will hear a sound if the power bank is working. So if you're done registering an account, you need to bind this device to the app. How to do it? Press the WeLock app and in the menu press Add Device, then select the QR code option, and then scan the QR code located on the cover of the battery. Then enter the ID code. The ID code is written on the WeLock cylinder or in the box. All unlocked records will be synced to the WeLock app so that you can see exactly who has been entering your home and when. So how was that? Isn't it cool? Your comments is highly appreciated. So how this mechanism works? The rear doorknob is lock free, so even if it is lock in the front doorknob, you can still open if you are inside. Check the link in the description below if you want to know more about different WeLock Smart Lock products. If the fingerprint knob can be rotated smoothly, it means it is in standby mode. Neither it is lock nor unlocked. Locking the door is the same as you are turning the key manually. Press the wake up button, then tap your user fingerprint or admin fingerprint, then rotate the knob till it locks the door. Unlocking will take 5 to 14 seconds and then it will automatically lock. It means that within 14 seconds the fingerprint knob must be rotated to unlock. After 14 seconds the fingerprint knob will be in standby mode. Always double check by using the main door knob if it works. For me, this Wellock Smart Lock Fingerprint Door Lock Cylinder SECBN51 is a great device. Everything is easy. The menu and the performing actions are very easy to operate. The fingerprint reader is very accurate and fast. And most importantly, installations is so easy. 
no drilling is needed. And that's it if you reach till this video thank you so much. As always your comments and suggestions is highly appreciated.